What's the video today? We're going to take a look at lead code problem number 627, swap salary, marked as easy. Let's get into it. Okay, so let's go through the problem statement. Given a table salary such as the one below that has M is male and F is female values, swap all F and M values, i.e. change all F values to M and vice versa with a single update statement and no intermediate temp table. Note that you must write a single update statement. Do not write any select statement for this problem. So this one differs from your usual lead code problem by stating that you need to use an update statement and not a select statement. So what you need to know to answer this question is your update syntax. Just write update your table name, in this case salary, and then you want to set a new value to your field sex in this case, and you should swap male and female values. So we're going to set sex to something else and if we're trying to transform a single field or value you should pretty much always think about using an if statement or case statement it depends on your SQL dialect in MySQL you're able to use if statements which are very short and easy to read in my opinion so using if open brackets have your if condition let's set it to sex is M for male so we're gonna check if sex is M for male and if that is the case we're gonna change it to female F and that is what comes after the first comma so we have our condition before the comma then we have what happens if that condition is true so we're gonna set it to female if sex is male and after the second comma we have our action we take if the condition is false so if sex is not male we're gonna set it to male because if it's not male that means it's female because in this case we only have two possible values for sex uh, might be good to assume that and state that because there might be the possibilities to have other sexes or genders but in this case we're only limited to male and female and because of that we can assume that if it's not male it's female and we should set it to male so that would already be the solution to this problem. There are slightly other ways to do it using the case statement. So if might not always be available in your SQL dialect, depends on what you're using. You might want to use the case statement instead. It's just another syntax, but it does the same. As you can see, it uses quite more characters and words to achieve the same thing. That's why I like if but the default syntax is case, when, then, else, end. Case and end is kind of what starts that section, that case statement. When is the condition, then would be what happens if that condition is true, and else is what happens if that condition is false. So we're gonna input our same condition of asking if sex is male, then we're gonna set it to female and else we're gonna leave it at male or we're gonna set it to male from female. So that should work in the same way. It's just another way of doing it and that has been pretty much it for this video already. Um, I should say that this is not usually what you get asked in a coding interview because update statements are quite rare. I never really used that in my career, I would just create a new table from an existing one. But it might be valuable to know and using case and if statement should be something you should know. Anyways, that's been it for this video. I'm going to go through all lead code database problems, starting with the easy ones and the ones that are available for free on lead code, just like this one. So if you want to follow along and learn SQL with me, make sure to subscribe and follow the channel. I'll see you all in the next video.